Hey, Shalom, 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 Akims. Uh, first and foremost, of course, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Chakodash. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutation to all you sincere Akims, of course, the four winds. Pushing this truth for sincerity of heart. I am your fellow servant, because I'm a guy from a DC camp. Coming at you again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua by Shem HaKudash, for the elect, Makarim Yahshua Allah. And um, in today's lesson, man, I wanted to get into something that, um, you know, pretty much plagues a lot of um, a lot of dudes in this truth, man. Uh, you know, and it's something, even as a man of the Lord, you know, you got to fight these spirits that, that bring this type of, these type of uh, views, uh, perceptions and emotions out of you, man, uh, trying to uh, put stuff in your mind, man, in your psyche about brothers, you know, because remember the kingdom of heaven, man, it's about worshiping your whole Bashim Al Shah and loving your brother, which is your neighbor, you know what I'm saying? And, and the main thing really comes down to not having covetousness, man, and envy, you know, which brings forth strife. And, and also just showing love, man, and, it, and not just in words, but in, in the ways of faith and law, and the law, but by, by just like sometimes just. Acknowledging with your brother the gift that your that your brother has, and instead of like trying to bring him down like a nigga in the world would, you know, just praise the brother, praise the Most High, and and and, and give the brother, you know, what I'm saying, the, acknowledge your brother, man, for 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 the you know for what he's doing. That's good for the truth. That's, you know, the love that he's showing, the dedication he's showing, man, the gift that the Lord gave him, you know, and that's something that you know brothers got to do more, man. You know, because in the world, man, and the, the world pushes the negative energy of of um, not giving credit where credit's due or giving credit to, to darkness. But in this world, man, we don't give each other, you know what I'm saying, credit through the spirit to, to, to righteousness, man. Instead, Jake was resorting to, to envy again, you know, old nigga shit, old wickedness. Now, the title of this video, man, really goes off of... um. Uh, Romans chapter 13 and 3 and I'm entitled I'm entitled this video uh not 13 and 3 uh, Romans 13 and uh, uh let me see very right quick I had it well, Romans 13 I don't know not 13 and 3 uh let me see I know it's right here there you go 13 and 7 Romans 13 and 7 um, render therefore to all their dues, and that's going to be the title of this video, okay? Render, render therefore to all their dues. You brothers know about, you know, giving credit where credit is due, all right? First, I'm going to read on, on the first three, uh, first three verse, two verses. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. And this is something that goes both ways. Whether it be the light and the darkness. Of course, when it comes to the darkness or the powers that be in Esau and all that other stuff. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't go against Esau right now. Because, or at least on a physical level, you supposed to go against those powers on a spiritual level. Because they ordained on the most high, you know, Esau the most high sword. And he set for an appointed time. You know, if you're trying to go against that uh, on a physical level, you're going to be destroyed. Same thing on the right hand side, you know what I'm saying? The apostles, the elders that rule over us, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, you got to, you know, you got to um, be subject to that higher power that the most high set up, you know what I'm saying, above you, you know? Verse 2, it says, Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth, resisteth the ordinance of the most high. And they, that was resist shall receive the, to themselves damnation right because if you resist you resist it, that means you're going against on uh, the ordinances the order that the lord has set up you know what i'm saying you can't do that all right so now i'm gonna jump down to the main on uh, the main scripture of this lesson which is verse seven it says um what well, actually uh actually, I'm, I'm gonna read down uh, five it says wherefore ye must needs be subject meaning under rule not only for wrath, but also for conscience, conscience sake. Verse 6. For, for this cause, pay ye tributes also. For they are the most high ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. So you got to pay your tithes, you know, your tributes, you know, every day, every, you know, every time you can, you know, do what you got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all set up like that in spirit, you know. That's the ordinance of the Lord. Now, verse 7. It says, render therefore to all their dues. 
Meaning, man, just give credit where credit's due. You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture says, give double honors to, you know, say the elders. And, you know, because of the work's sake and all that, man, that's because that's the, that's giving credit where credit's due. You know, of course, it's all through the spirit and power of your whole by Shem El Shah because he's the one who set up the ordinance. And not just the elders and apostles, brothers that have been there, you know, say labored before you labored and you know labor and the truth sincerely dedicated their whole lives. And, you know, and not just brothers, you know, even a brother that that um oh, that might be on a lower rank than you, but. It has a certain gift, you know what I'm saying? A brother might have a certain gift, you know, that you don't have, you know what I'm saying? And then instead of you initially, man, buying, you know, buying into them demons in your mind, trying to stir up envy, you know what I'm saying, of, of wishing, because that's a lot of the hate, man, a lot of the hate and, and uh, um, you know, just going against, you know, the teachers and all that, it really comes from, from, from envy, man. And envy is a cause of all strife, man. The scripture tells you that. So instead of showing love by just, you know, giving credit where credit's due, sometimes a brother got a, a certain gift that he was set up in, in a certain place, you know what I'm saying? And instead of being like, man, I wish it was me, or I could do better than him, or I wish I was him, well, what about, hey, brother, man, the water you hold by Shemel Shah, the Lord gave you a great gift, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you do, brother. You know, I look up to you, man. I, I you know, I, I have godly jealousy or godly envy, meaning your gift that you have is so prolific through the spirit and you're doing your thing and giving a brother the credit, man, where the credit is due. You know what I'm saying? For what he's doing, man, because you can see the work. You can see the spirit working through him, man. That's how you show love. Everything else that's out that that's, you know, opposite of that, man, those are demons, man. You know, and it's okay if the man got a gift that you that you don't have. It's okay. You got your own gift, man. But why are you even worry about making a comparison between what you got and what the brother and what he got, man? You know what I'm saying? Just that's what brothers got to do more, man. Just acknowledge with the Lord the gift that the, that, that that was bestowed upon a brother, man, by your whole by Shemel Shah, and and praise and give the brother credit credit where credit's due. You know, and that's how you get a lot of that hate, man. That demonic. Spirit of hating your brother, man. Your neighbor that you out here laboring with and fighting with, man. That's how you get a lot of that shit out you, man. Out of your system, you know, through the spirit. All right, this is Romans 13 and 7. It says, render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom is due. Meaning we got a custom right in the camp. You know, we got brothers that are uh, uh, above you in the camp. You know, we have... Uh, 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 speakers, you know, we have different uh, uh, lots, different attributes, you know, we, you know, like in Great Millstone, we got our own customs, which is set up in the spirit. It's not man's customs, you know, but it, it's set up in the spirit. So it says just, you know, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, you know what I'm saying, and honor to whom honor, man. It's, it, it, like I said, buzz got to be in that mindset, man. You know, stop that, that wicked jealousy, you know, that wicked envy. Because I'm gonna get into to the to envy as well, man. You know, actually, I mean, let me jump down to it. This is um Romans chapter thirteen and thirteen. It says, "Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in riding and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness." You know, that just means being worldly, man. Enjoying going into the stuff that the world is getting into, all the madness and the craziness out there, man. Because that madness and craziness comes with a certain mindset, man. These niggas that look like they out here having fun ain't the same niggas that killing each other, man. So there's a certain mindset that comes with being in the world. When you get besides the whole drinking and smoking and partying and all that, ain't this ain't that the same niggas that kill each other, man? They ain't got no real love. So we can't partake in what they're partaking, man, because the mindset behind that is nothing but death and destruction and jealousy. You know, they don't give credit where credit's due. You know what I'm saying? And then some dudes in this truth, man, you got the same mindset, man. That's why you bucking against the, the order or the ordinance. You don't know how to give props to your brother. You don't know how to congratulate your brother, man, for doing the work, for being faithful. You know? Hoping for good, that, you know, for your brother, man. Giving him props for him doing what he's doing through the spirit and power of your whole body. Shit, man. Shout laboring, man. Sacrificing. All you know how to do is them old ways, man. Trying to be his rival, try to fucking have comparisons, either trying to be him or be above him. That's wickedness, man. That's worldly shit, man. 
That's why the scripture says in Romans 13 and 13, let us walk honestly as in a day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, man. Now, check this out. This is where we get deeper through the spirit, right? Um, look up the word, uh, um, we look up the word envy, and it says zealous, zealous. That's where you get the word um, zeal. It is going to show right here in the Strongs. What does it say? Zealous, zeal. Now, you brothers know the scripture said you're supposed to have a zeal in this in this truth. But the same word zeal goes back to envy in the Greek. So that means what does that tell you? That tells you that there's two types, there's two types of zeals, and there's two types of envy. Okay? You, everything is it comes in twos, man. That's the secret to wisdom. It tells you that in the scriptures. Let me get that right quick. This is um Job 11 and 6, and that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom. Yahweh Hashem Shah told us the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. And that's the ultimate secret to wisdom. Everything that you see, don't ever just look at one thing for and, and just say, well, this is what it is. Everything that you know has a double. It has a light and it has a darkness. It has an up and it has a down. So when you look up the word envy, don't just look at the word envy as on the negative aspect it's just we look at that word because jake is negative jake is wicked but you also have envy on a positive aspect you know when you telling the brother hey brother man listen man you're a great speaker brother your whole body shall bless you with that keep doing what you're doing brother you know what i'm saying i wish i wish i was i could speak the way you speak brother so we can you know help the brotherhood and that comes off that's just that that's how you show love and that's how you you know you show godly envy but you say right, well man man this dude he think you think he a, he think he a bad dude man now nah, i'm gonna be a better speaker than him or oh, i want to be just like him so i can rival him he ain't better than me those are those are demons man you know those are wicked spirits that are able to come through you and work through your mind man to bring you back into that old man into that bullshit man you know what I'm saying? So, that's the secret of wisdom. They are doubled to that which is. So now when we go back to the word um, envy, and it goes back to uh, zealous or zeal. Favorable, see, zeal in a favorable sense. Adore in an unfavorable sense. Jealousy as of a husband, figuratively of God or an enemy. Malice. Okay, so you can have wicked zeal and you can have... Um, righteous zeal, man. Emulation, envy, and fervent mind, indignation, jealousy, zeal. Okay? So you can't look at the word envy, you know, as just one thing. Right right here it says envy means jealousy, rivalry. Jealousy, rivalry. Envious. Envy, hate. You know what I'm saying? Hate, man. Because see, Jake always talking about, oh, you got that hate. It comes back to envy. And envy goes back to covetousness, man. That's when you want what your brother has, man. Instead of just congratulating him, like example, when your brother has a beautiful wife. Instead of coming, you know, coming coming through him and saying, man, brother, the Lord, your whole body shall bless you. You know what I'm saying? You got a beautiful wife, man. And you're going to have some beautiful children. And I can't wait to see your family flourish with all sincerity. Instead of that, you sitting in the back saying, man, I want his wife. I want a wife like just like him or I want a wife better than his wife. And that's how you, you know, it just goes in a slippery slope of wicked thoughts, man. Eats, eats away at you, man. And that's what envy does. Because you don't want to give credit where credit is due. The scripture tells you, Romans, give credit. Pretty much paraphrasing. Render. Let me read that again, man. You know what I'm saying? And Romans 13, man. Because that's the title of this video, man. Romans 13 and 7. Render therefore to all their dues, man. Just give credit where credit is due, man. That's how you're supposed to show love as an Israelite, man. Alright? And get your emotions and wicked emotions involved, man. Just give the brother credit for credit's due. Because you know it's coming from the Lord. Alright? He didn't make himself to be that good. You know, the man didn't make himself to be an a, 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 a elder and apostle. The Lord set him up and gave him that gift, man. Just appreciate the, 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 beauty, that, the beauty that is in your brother thriving in the Lord. What's wrong with, you know, what, why can't you do that, man? You know? So, um, now, because what it is with envy is, a com you know, that's where you get compare and contrast. When you look up the word 
Contrast means what? Contra means against. And stare means to stand. So stand against. So you got two types of envy, man. You got envy that's favorable. And you got envy that's unfavorable, man. And a lot of times what you get is Jake just having unfavorable envy, man. Malice. You know, that's why they're going against the old and the ordinance. Because they haven't shaken off the old man. And the old man is a cursed man. Okay? This Deuteronomy 28 and 54, it says, So that the man, the Israelite man, that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. See, when you're tender and delicate, it's not talking about on some faggot shit. Excuse my French. Okay? Tender and delicate meaning you have you give smooth words to your brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Smooth answers. You know, you showing love to your brother. You saying things that your brother, you know, to your brother to uplift your brother, man. You praise what was going on in his life because you know the Lord is helping him. The work the Lord is working through him. You acknowledging the greatness that the man is has through Yahweh, you know, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And that's how we were supposed to be, man, as Israelites. It says Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty four, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. And towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. You see that? So that's that old mindset in the world, man. Being envious. Why? Because you don't want to give credit where credit's due. You just want to just be out there, be anti, be conscious. Be having malice in your heart. This is Now, this is Job. Let's look at the scriptures that bring forth the compare and contrast. This is Job chapter 5, verse 2. It says, For wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy... Right, unfavorable envy in this case, slay of the silly ones. So it's silly, man. It's silly. Why would you want to be what would you want what your brother has, man? Which is covetousness, man. It says that in um in uh Romans. It says that in Romans um thirteen. Romans the Romans thirteen and um and nine it says, For this thou shalt not commit adultery. You know, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not murder, really, it says kill, but murder. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. When you look at that word covet, man, it goes back to that envy, man. You know, because you don't want to give credit where credit's due, man. Instead of acknowledging the greatness in your brother, through, you know, from your whole by Shem Yal Shah, you want to downplay it. You want to be him or you want to be better than him, man. That's not the mindset that we're supposed to have. It says, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. One thing about us, man, and you brothers can't deny this. When the brother tells you, man, when the brothers, you know, pretty much says something uplifting about a gift, a specific gift. When the brother comes and say, hey, brother, you know what, man? I love the way you do this and this and this. The spirit, the way you break this down and bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? It's really comforting, man. I really enjoy that, man. Me and all the most, I bless you, your whole body. You know that's a great feeling, man. You know that feeling. So why don't you get that same feeling when you see a man that's got a gift that you don't have, man? Why don't you... Past that same feeling. Won't you make that brother feel the same way this one brother made you feel, man, through the spirit power of your whole body shaman shot? Won't you do that? Nah, you better have malice. You want to be like him. Why? Because you wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the reality of it, man. You got guys in the sh and, and call yourself being in the truth and they got that heart, man. They got that 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 their spirit is like that. You know, because they're really not part of your elect, man. They don't really truly have love. They got love for themselves. But they ain't really got love for your whole body, Shem Yal Shah. No, they're neighbors, man. They love themselves more than they love anything or anybody else in existence. You know, and that, that type of heart, man, is just not, it's not cut out to be part of the elect. It's not cut out to be in the kingdom, man. Okay? That ultra selfish mindset, man. Um, now, let's go back to, um, uh, okay, this is Proverbs 14 and 30. Proverbs 14 and 30 says, A sound heart or mind, lob, is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. That's why a lot of you dudes out here, man, with that wicked heart, trying, you know, coveting what your brother's got, and, oh, man, you're elder than apostle, man. I want to be the new elder than apostle. That shit is eating you alive, man. Envy, it, it eats you alive, and you don't even notice it. You're becoming worse and worse, man. You know what I'm saying? Because cause you pushing out negative energy, negative vibration and trying to destroy your brother. But the Heavenly Father said you eat what you sow. So you push out negative energy, malice. Guess what you're going to get, man? You're going to get malice, man. You're going to get destruction. Okay? 
you pushing out bad vibrations, you know, evil doctrine, you won't get what come, what's coming to you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just the reality of it. All right, this is our First Corinthians chapter fourteen and um twelve. Now look at this is the contrast. This is the positive seal or positive envy or godly envy. You know, now this is First Corinthians fourteen and twelve. It says, "Even so, ye, for as much as ye are zealous, going back to that zealous again, zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church." See, that's what it is, man. It's about the edifying of the church. That gift that the brothers got, he got that gift so he could edify the church. The Lord didn't give him that gift so he can boast. And the brother ain't even boasting. You're the one who tripping about it, man. Because you got an issue. Why? Because to you, it ain't even about edifying the church. It's all about you. You want all the shine. You want everything. You want to be the top everything, man. You're not satisfied. You're not content with the gift. See, the thing is, you want your brother's gift so bad, you don't even realize the gift that the potential that the Most High might have given you. You're blinded. You're blinded. You don't. You can't see your own gifts because you're too busy worried about this one brother's gift, and that gift was given to him to, to the edifying of the church. You see that? That's the sad part about being a low life. You know who's just caught up in that mindset, man. You can't even see what the Lord is doing for you because you're too busy. What, you know, worried about what your brother's doing, man. This is Titus 2 and 14. Um, it says, Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity, right? That's how my shot y'all shot, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. That peculiar people is talking about 144,000 Israelites, so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the remaining of the one third. You know, which includes the elect Israelite foreigners. That's the peculiar people, man. Zealous, having a zeal, envious of good works, man. Okay? This is James chapter 4, verse 5. It says, Do ye think that the scriptures saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth the envy? And that's what it is, man. That spirit is the, the mind of the flesh, the wicked heart, man, is lusting the envy. You know, and that's not the good envy. That's the that's the envy that brings forth strife, man. That's that hate. You know what I'm saying? That's that hate that you got in your heart, man. And you got to pray that the Heavenly Father removes that. That the Heavenly Father gives you the spirit of contentment. When you're content with, the, with your lot, man. Okay? Just give a man his due. If a man has got a great gift, set up in a position, give a man his due, man. That's how you show your love to your brother, man. The way you like to be congratulated... The way you like to be, you know, you like to, you like smooth words, you know, and how it feels when a brother is saying, yo, brother, you know, you, you're doing your thing through the spirit of the Lord. Why don't you do the same thing, man? Why don't you do the same thing? You know? So, um, I'm going to finish up with this scripture, man. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. It said, let nothing be done through strife, man. And vain glory. That's see, that's the problem. Vain glory. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. And, and you don't have to fake it. You don't have to go out there and and, and tell a brother, uh, you know, that he has a gift that he hasn't. Every brother has a gift, and you notice it. You just tell a brother, man, hey, brother, man, I I notice, hey, the Lord's working through you, you know. And you got this particular gift, man. And, and may the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim, Rashad, enhance you even better. You know what I'm saying? I look up to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And all that, man. You know what I'm saying? With sincerity. You know what I'm saying? Just do that, man. Just get used to doing that. Instead of looking looking at your brother out the side of your eye, you know, wishing you was him or better than him. That's the wrong spirit, man. So it goes back to Romans 13 and 7. Render therefore to all dead dues. That's a mindset you got to start having in this truth, man. Okay? Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. So with that, I'm going to say, hey, hopefully you bust this edifying, man. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Double honors to our apostles and elders. A great millstone. Shout out salutation to you, sincere brothers across the four winds, man. Hopeful elect, Bukhari Miyashi Allah. Pushing the shoe for the city of heart. Kasabangan for the DC camp. So, shout